Well, yo, what up? This is Derek Yasha. And today I'm going to be reviewing Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. But uh, let me uh, get into a quick history, um, you know, how I watched this movie. Okay. Well, first of all, you know, um, I was turned off of it because of Christopher Nolan's three Batman films. Okay, or let's just say two Batman films back in the day. Now, of course, watching it on demand, um, you know, I went out and got the DVD. You know, there we go. Um, you know, what else could I say? You know, um, it doesn't got um, crappy acting. It's got very good acting, to believe it or not. You know, but let's get to the review. Okay, so if you don't know, basically the movie is, you know, basically about Leonardo DiCaprio's character. Um, you know, going around the dreams, and of course that they they get connected to this machine that makes them develop weird shit in the dreams. That's it. You know. Um. Other than that, the movie is confusing. You know. Um. You don't know if if uh you know at the end of the movie you don't know if it's uh real or not. You know. But, you know, I don't want to give out spoilers for this movie. That's this main thing, though. I'm trying not to give out spoilers, you know. But, um, what could I say? The movie is crazy. The movie is, uh, you know, insane. Uh, the movie has uh, beautiful visuals and beautiful, uh, you know, special effects. You know, the movie, um, you know, has great sound. The movie has, uh, you know, a beautiful score. You know, I'll even do the score. You know, um, let's see, who is the score by, or the, the music, let's see, who is it by, um, trying to find it right now. Uh, music is by Hans, uh, Zimmer. Yeah, fucking awesome Hans Zimmer. You know, and, uh, let me just tell you something. This movie gets five out of five. Trust me on that, okay? Um, better, uh, movie than Christopher Nolan's, uh, Batman work, you know, because throughout those Batman movies, it's just retarded and crappy, you know, you, you just gotta accept the fact that, you know, this movie is his masterpiece, basically, Christopher Nolan's masterpiece, you know, who really wants to sit there and actually watch a Batman, uh, film, you know, that's, uh, poorly done, you know, and of course that Batman, you can't even understand the word that he's saying. <laughs> you know, just keeps on going on, you know. At least in here, you can understand what people are saying. You know, okay, um, we need to get inside this dream. Let's uh, take these bastards down or whatever. You know, but, um, you know, what else could I say? Um, very good movie, you know, um, I like the direction that the film takes, you know, very beautiful, you know, the way that, that dreams are in this movie, you know, um, what else could I say, this movie is, um, you know, masterpiece of, you know, when, when was this released, 2010, I can't believe I missed out on this movie in the movie theaters, man, I should have seen it in the fucking movie theaters, but oh no, no, well, you know, technically it's not my fault, I thought it was gonna be stupidity, like, you know, Batman Begins, and Dark Knight, you know, I thought it was gonna be that kind of stupidity, but no, you know, um, you do actually like all the characters, you do actually like what goes on into the film, you know, it's not, it's not crazy, like, you know, or stupid, like Batman, you know, like Nolan, Nolan's Batmans, 
but this is actually his, I'm not lying to you, I swear for me to die right now in this chair, that, you know, this is his better work, and it's an interesting film, and, you know, um, I don't know what else to say about it, you know, I think you should just go buy it right now, to be honest with you, you know, you should go buy this, seriously, I love smart movies, this is smart, okay, very smart. You know, um, what else can I say? I even like the DVD, you know, the disc itself. I like that, you know, it's like a, like an image of, you know, like a maze. That's what I like. Seriously, look. At least they did something here with the DVD, with the DVD disc, you know. Um, like, give us bland, uh, gray backgrounds, you know. But yeah, you know, um... I mean, everything about this movie, you know, so good, you know, that you'll want to watch it again after you get done watching it. You want to watch it for the second time. You want to watch it for the third time. You want to watch it for the fourth time, the fifth time. Let's just say the 30th time that you watch this movie, you know, but um, for some people, um, you can't understand the movie because the movie is complicated. And I think I know one person, one person that Mike could understand the movie. And that, of course, is Rob Egger. Okay. Um, you know, go to his channel, you know, um, the man that you would want him to do analysis on Inception. You know, maybe it'll, it will take him a lot of months to do, but he'll do it. Okay. Go check out Rob Egger. Okay, and I'll spell that for you right now. You know, basically, uh, you know, R O B space A G E R. See, so Rob Ager. So yeah, if you went and go check out Rob Ager, and you know, check out this movie if you want to too. But I'm just saying to you, this is better than his Batman movies. Trust me, this is better than his Batman movies. Excellent film great film. I wish there was another movie like this that he did, but no. You know, no.